Now here are two motifs that have been joined together in a join-as-you-go fashion. There's one motif over here and one motif over here. And on the final row of the second square, you go back and forth between the two to join them. Now this makes it so that you don't have the seaming at all, and it joins in a nice lacy method, so it almost looks like you don't have squares at all. It just, it's, it's a really nice look. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here I have my first square. Now I'm going to, with the second square, I'm going to work it join as you go. Put that down. Now join as you go is something that's very difficult to write. It's very difficult for the tech editor. It's very difficult for the end user. That would be you. You. It's just something that's very difficult in writing, but so easy. So easy to do in when you're actually working it. It's just disappointing that it's so hard to write and understand. But thankfully we have video. So I'm going to do a chain. I'm, I've done a chain and now I'm going to do a single crochet in the corner. And normally I would have three chains here. But instead I'm going to do just one. Now I'm going to pick up my first motif. It's my first square and I'm going to slip stitch into it the first join. Now chain and back over here. You're just going to work in a zigzag back and forth. Pay attention to the pattern so that you know how many chains there are. Chain one into the first and slip stitch. Chain one into the second. See how I'm just going back and forth? And single crochet chain one and slip stitch over here chain one and single crochet over here and the pattern will say exactly where you're going but now that you have the video it'll be so much easier slip stitch over here see I'm just going back and forth zigzag fashion along the top joining the two together Single crochet here in the corner, chain one, back over here, chain one, and then the, let this corner here. Now the corner is completed, and we have it completely joined. And you would just continue the round as you did prior. It's just that one joining row. Now when you have a pattern though, there, you just need to follow the pattern. Sometimes you're going to have to join two sides and you just join them in the same method and you have this beautiful join instead of having to seam.